We already know that people value different things differently. That's what makes us human. But they also value things differently at different times. You see, this, um, this glass of water, if I can just pour it out from a tap, it's, it's not really worth very much to me. But if I've been in a desert for two days without anything to drink, I might put a much higher value on it. When you ask a child, do you want a chocolate now? Or do you want a chocolate tomorrow? Any sensible child is going to say they want it now. Why, why should they postpone gratification? Why should they put off the enjoyment? Ah, it gets really interesting when you say, would you like one chocolate now? Or two chocolates tomorrow? Then the child has to work out whether it's worth postponing the gratification for a day in order to double it tomorrow. That's called investment. If I lend someone £100 for a year, I'm doing without all of the pleasures that could bring. I could be out at restaurants, I could be buying drink, whatever. Uh, if I'm doing without those pleasures, I need to be compensated. I want maybe £105 in, in return a year later. That £5 pays me for doing without those pleasures. Several religions have, have opposed uh, interest. But really, it's just, it's just payment for postponed pleasure, that's all. When I put money in the bank, I'm lending it to the bank, and they pay me interest. And they do it because they hope to make more with my money than they're paying me in interest. They don't just store it in their vaults and look after it for me. I'd have to pay them to do that. When you're paid interest, though, it has to do something more than compensate you for that postponement of gratification. You see, there's a risk you might not get paid at all, and the interest you pay has to cover that risk. Even when people were living in caves, they were still investing. The, 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 the hunter-gatherer who spent time chipping away at flint to make spearheads was investing time that could have been spent gathering berries or killing mastodons. The farmer does. The farmer could be out sunning himself, enjoying the stars and the smell of flowers, and instead they're ploughing fields, they're sowing stuff, and they do it because they think that when the crops come in, they'll get a greater return. You use wealth, instead of spending it now for gratification, you postpone that in order to generate more wealth later. So, in addition to wealth being created by trade, and by specialisation, it's also created by investment. Madsen Piri attempted to prove once again that economics is fun.